right, let's quickly look at the results for the thrust test on the DYS Mars 2306 2750 kV. The motor came in at about 2740 kV, so pretty close to the uh, uh, specified uh, kV value of the motor. Uh, only 10 off according to my thrust stand, so pretty close. So uh, again, tested the usual props, Gen Fan 5045BN, near 1500, so clear 1400 pretty easily. Pretty good performance on this uh, two blade prop at about 40 amps. Again, remember these are max numbers. The amps are gonna seem very, very high, but uh, don't let that put you off. This is all the motors that I test on my thrust stand are gonna have high amps. They're gonna look very high, but uh, it's because of the uh, the values that I choose to show here on the table are the max numbers. So these are moment momentary max numbers on the amps and thrust. Uh, so these only happen on the thrust stand on static thrust and for a short time so the equivalent would be about 35 percent lower uh, on the once you're in the air and again that's also going to be for a very short time on on burst you know when you when you punch a throttle you get that burst of uh high amps and then they taper down. So all these max, uh, what you could do is just multiply times 0 0.7, 0 0.65 and that'll give you an, uh, a max number for your copter and again that's gonna be burst uh, figures. So that's a good way to size up your ESCs, you know, uh, as long as your ESCs can handle burst currents that match these numbers that I'm talking about, the 35% uh, lower than these, then for sure you're, you should be okay. You shouldn't be worried about your ESCs being able to handle this much current. So it's a little bit uh, exaggerated and uh, a little bit confusing, but uh, that's just how I've been reporting the... Um, the max numbers on my, on all my tests, so I just kept doing the same, uh, just for consistency. So you know we can compare to other motors. Uh, anyway, on the 5040 and 5043 by three, which are pretty close in performance, uh, pretty interesting to see the 5040 doing just slightly better at these high kV numbers, whereas in other motors uh, the V1S was a little bit higher. So. Uh, then we move on to the heavier props and uh, with this motor uh, it uh, looks like it's got pretty good torque as it is pushing the uh, the quad blade uh, past uh, the 1600 uh, grams same as with the Lumiere uh, we're getting above 1600 grams pretty much all these props right here uh, starting with the four blade we're getting 1600 grams and uh, of course the amps are going to be a little bit high but uh, they're still quite manageable remember you take out 35 percent so this 51 is going to be like uh, i don't know close to 35 or so uh, still pretty manageable i think uh, then the six inch prop i threw in the six six inch prop just to see what kind of uh, torque the motor has and it's showing that it's got pretty pretty decent torque as as we see it uh, get up to 1900 grams. Uh, so I usually, even on these high KB numbers, I like to throw in a, a six inch prop uh, just to see what uh, if the motor can spin it uh, with a decent amount of amps. You know, uh, I look at the amps, and uh, you know if if the if it Thrust increases and the amps also increase uh, correspondingly, you know, uh, proportional. Uh, if we don't see any drastic uh, increase in, in amps, then we know that the motor still has some torque uh, left over. Uh, also did a couple of 3S tests uh, just to get an idea of what the motor can do on 3S. And uh, as we can see on, on 6 inch, uh, pretty, pretty impressive uh, pushing 1300 grams. So this is a, uh, you know, something that somebody might want to use uh, with a three-cell battery uh, on six-inch, and uh, still there's plenty of plenty of uh, thrust right there. And on the three-blade cyclone, 1100, 1100 uh, grams. So that's that's pretty decent at a moderate amount of uh, amps. Uh, a good comparison would be for you guys to. Uh, Compare it to the DYS Thor just to see what the difference is between the uh, 
the 2307 sizes. So you'll see that the 2407 uh, it's m making even more thrust. So this is basically that's basically it. It's bigger, larger motor, slightly lower KV, but uh, it's spinning the props way a little bit faster. So, but it, it's also using up more amps. So. So this is a pretty pretty good size. I think this 2306 uh, seems to be getting quite popular because it seems to be a sweet spot for what we're using now and for the batteries that are available right now. Uh, these motors are fairly efficient and getting quite a lot of thrust on 5 inch. Uh, so we're we got a lot of these uh, coming out uh, lately. These 2306s and they're all doing quite well. Uh, so all right uh, so that's the test and uh, hope you find the data useful and until the next video